A point P is 3 units away from the line 3x plus 4y plus k is equal to 0 and that is represented by line L1 and 4 units away from the line 4x minus 3y plus L is equal to 0 represented by line 2. The reflection of the point P on L1 is P1, reflection of P1 on L2 is P2, the reflection of P2 on L1 is P3, the reflection of P3 on L2 is P4. Find the area of the figure formed by joining P1, P2, P3, P4. So, let us see what are the two lines that are given to us L1 and L2 and it is line 1 is nothing but 3x plus 4y plus k equal to 0 and line 2 is 4x minus 3y plus L equal to 0. So, the first thing that we can analyze from line 1 and line 2 are they are nothing but perpendicular lines. Why are they perpendicular lines? Because slope of if I talk about the slope of line 1, the slope of line 1 is minus 3 by 4 and slope of line 2 is 4 by 3. The product of the slopes is nothing but what? Product is 1 minus 1. So, product of the slopes is minus 1. If the product of the slopes is minus 1, it is a indication that the lines are what? Perpendicular. So, we have line 1 and let us say this is line 2. This is line 1, this is line 2. It is given that point P is 3 units away from line 1. So, point P is, let us say this is the point P it is 3 units away from line 1 and it is 4 units away from line 2. This is nothing but 4 units. This is the distance of point P from line 2 is 4, distance of point P from line 1 is 3. The reflection of point P on line 1 is P1. So, if I reflect P on line 1, the reflection will be how many units away? 3 units away and this is given to you as what? P1. Then it says the reflection of P1 on L2, P1 on L2 the reflection will be nothing but this is 4 units away. So, this will be further how many units away? 4 units away. Let us extend this line. This is nothing but P2. The reflection of P2 on line 1 will be nothing but this distance is 3 units away. That means, it will be further how much away? It will be further 3 units away. So, this is nothing but point 3 and reflection of P3 on line 2. Are we not essentially talking about point P is nothing but P4 because this distance is 4. So, what we end up getting is nothing but P1, P2, P3, P4 is nothing but a rectangle. What are the dimensions of the rectangle? You have 6 and you have 8. What is 6 into 8? The 6 into 8, your answer would be nothing but 48.